this has been the third take because we've had some um, technical issues. Hey, it's all good. Third is always the best with the, take. With the gimbal. Here. But look at this energy. Hey. That's <laughs> so, hey, we out here, baby. We lit. I'm super excited to be here with Ava. And I'm so yes. excited to talk with you today. Yes, yes, yes. So, today's episode of Elevate with Ava, mm -hmm. I invited Mr. Jamal. Yo, yo, yo. Because 2020 and beyond, I think we've all been through some rough terrain. Yeah. But I gotta say, no matter where I am <laughs> when I pass him, whether it's the grocery store, just passing by him like in the neighborhood, or Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> always a smile and always a woohoo! <laughs> Because, you know, I think the beauty of it, you know, about life is, like, just the willingness to be able to get up every single day and have a choice to be happy and sad. So, just thankful like, to have a choice to be happy, you know? Right. Yeah. Right. And, you know what, Jamal, I always could tell with all his posts on social media, mm -hmm. he's always grateful. He's yeah. Got, that gratitude just really is a driving force. And I got to say, like, any friend that gets exposed to his energy, like, whether it be made with him, like, oh, my God, like, yeah. I need to meet him again. Like, <laughs> God, his energy. I love it. You, I don't think you realize when my friends meet you and then you walk away, they're like, man, his energy. Oh, my God. Like, even God. in a restaurant, they're like, oh, my God. Like, they go, I go, oh, that's Jamal. And like, yeah. whatever they say, like, you know that friend with the energy? Yeah. I was like, Jamal, they're like, I just like being around him. And then at Runyon, like, even when it's just my social media and yeah. they see you, they're like, oh, oh my God. God. They're like, oh my God. And they're like, I love him. I love him. And then even I'm like, well, the other day, I, I was, I was like minding my own, I was like trying to like figure <laughs> out something on IG. And then I hear my friends go, oh, yeah. yeah. And then it was Jamal, and I'm like, of course it's Jamal. And so, with that said, I mean, uh, all of my like, he is certified, high energy, motivational, so inspiring. I mean, you go to the videos on his IG, mm -hmm. so many motivational. I don't think you realize, like, I wa I watch your like your little one minute yeah, segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, on thank you. And I'm like, God, he just on point you know it's sometimes like we and it's so important that we go back to our instagram and go look at our old things because right. we forget the things we've done in life you know right. I, mean? so I appreciate i appreciate that i've been doing that more recently right like whenever <laughs> i think of you it's always like you you've been someone that uplifts people like, yeah you're yeah, always yeah, yeah. thinking about what can i do to uplift people like whether it be at like the shirts that you've had through, yeah, yeah, yeah. through the years it's like people Speaking. want a piece of that energy they do, yeah. <laughs> and, and just, just to like, I just want people to have an idea of your energy and what you give off. Like, what were the different things that you had on the shirts that it said? Yeah, so I'm um, originally from North Carolina, but I've been in LA for about two years now and chasing my dreams. So I'm an actor and motivational speaker, entrepreneur, filmmaker, et cetera, producer. Um, but I would say the biggest thing that I would say we all face is trying to find a way to tap into our greatness, mm -hmm. right? How do we become the king and queen that we, we always wanted to become? And there's levels to it, right? So I think the biggest thing is it's from what is belief. Believing that we can really, really do things. And not just a surface belief. A lot of times we write things down, we, we manifest it, we say it out loud. But actually, physically being who you want to be. And so Ooh. tapping into your greatness, protecting your peace are just the two of the things that for me is necessary in order for you to manifest your dreams to reality. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was a yeah. huge one. And you know what's funny? I always say, I use it as a pillar. Mm. You know, the protect my peace one. I'm like, yeah. okay, does this person, place, or thing of per, you know, affect my peace? Yeah. If it doesn't, if it does not, I need to protect my peace. And that will make, that will bring me to the direction I need to go. Yeah. Because we have to have, I tell you what it's talking, we have to have energy to be able to get up every single day, to go out there and smile, to go out there and mm. uh, show up for other people, but most importantly, show up for yourself. Ooh. And so I think that's just the biggest thing I learned. Uh, my 27 years of life is just, you know, y'all have a lot of good energy, but taking the moment, so you know what, Jamal, let me let me refill myself up. Right. Let me refill my tank up so I can be who I want to be. So protecting your peace is important to chase your dreams, your goals, so you can have the energy uh, to tap into your greatness and the energy to be able to block out all the negativity that comes your way. Right. And speaking about negativity, you know, yeah, through yeah. the past, through 20, 
20, like a lot of people went through loss, um, whether it be Man. loved one, job, house, so change. So much. So much. Um, I look at you and I've seen you throughout that time and you've always maintained such good energy. Yeah. <laughs> and I know, you know, I know um, even the people with the best energy yeah. also have the most sensitive heart. Very. We're very emotional people. Right. Very emotional. And we and we and when people and people don't realize people people do us wrong things to us, it hurts us Dude, more different. It does. It takes us a while to get over, but when we're over, we're over it. Oh my god. That's <laughs> a lot of point. And it's 100%. scary. I tell people all the time, like, you know, most people, you know, you people can come back, they forgive us. Don't, don't get me wrong, we definitely forgive people for anything, but when people do us wrong and we get to that point of over, it's hard to get back in. Right. We gotta make sure we protect our peace and not go back right. to that, that space. The pillars, because yeah. that's, you know, you need to grow. You need to grow and some, like, you learn from what you went through and yeah. you gotta tread accordingly. Hey, and just keep on trucking, baby. <laughs> yes! Okay, so I know that there's probably several different things that you did yeah. in 2020 to navigate, but mm -hmm. for our audience, let's start with five. Like, if you could, Share with us five different things mm. or tools or actions or yeah. regimen that got you through 2020 and as we debut yeah. in 2021. And just taking over, baby. Taking yeah. over. I would say like, yeah, through. I would say the, for, for my, this is how I this is how I scale things, right? So the first the first thing that's so important is taking the time out for you. Um, that was one thing that I struggled with because uh, I'm a high energy person, motivational speaker, I'm an actor. And so a lot of times I was feeling so um, low at moments and I didn't know how to navigate to that. I'm like, you know, Jamal, like I'm doing so many great things, but when it's time to show up for me, when they get those opportunities, those, uh, those gigs, whatever it might be, I don't have the energy to perform my best. And so 2020 show, you know, what does it mean for Jamal to be selfish, selfish a little bit in terms of your time, um, your energy, but also make sure that you can show up for you when necessary time. So number one is definitely learn how to show up for yourself because in order to show up for yourself, in order for you to be the man and woman you're trying to be, you have to have that sense of courage. You know, you know, if I show up for myself, like I can get this done. Oh, um, I, and I need to I need to make one comment on that because yeah. there was one time I asked Jamal like, oh, do you want to do this or that or I forgot what it was. Yeah. And he said, you know what? I have spa day and I'm giving myself permission mm -hmm. to do it. And I that was so like I really respected that. We have to because it, like yeah. I looked at you like, oh yes, like you cannot handle you know, that because I know a lot of people have a, a problem saying no to things. But when you say it like that, yeah. oh, you don't you don't have anxiety about taking care of you. Taking care of you. Right. Or knowing, or knowing when you know your energy might be low. When you know that you're not home at your best, I'm going to take a step back. And if people don't understand it or appreciate that, you know, they're just not meant to be home. Maybe they needed to take a step back from you. Maybe you needed to protect your peace anyway. And that yeah. leads out who you need around you. You need to be around you for two. Right. So I would say definitely taking time out for yourself. Um, For two, I would say... Um, finding things that uh, being appreciative of the things that you've been able to accomplish. Mm. We are all on this rush to do great things, right? I'm trying to be an actor. You're doing great things. We're all doing great things, right? And so a lot of times when you're on this hunt, you're on this race to to be great, to be legendary, to to be an actor, whatever it is that a model, whatever it is to get the best shape of your life. Um, we sometimes. Um, speed past all the great things we've been able to accomplish and we forget those amazing accomplishments that we've been able to do as well too. Right. And so the crazy thing wins. about it, yeah, and the crazy thing about it is, um, I was talking talk to my mom about this as well too because we, for example, uh, I prayed to, to be in LA, right? I manifested this dream, I did this, and so when I got here, I forgot about the the, the nights I was, you know, crying, confused, and you know what I'm saying? Because when I got here, everything kind of just sped up. So it's right. like, I, we got to make sure we just appreciate every moment that where we got to where we at. Right. Yeah. Right. I really learned that celebrating your wins is yeah. really huge so you don't get burned out. And it, it just fuels you to just keep on accomplishing. So yeah. that is a huge one. Because it makes you, it makes you, um, it makes you always live in the moment. Right. You know what I mean? Right. You can really sit back. You know what? You know I'd be able. I did this, and um, I was able to check it off my book, and I can look back at the things that I've been able to check off, and I appreciate why, man. It keeps you humble. Because the next thing you know, if you just keep looking for the future, your whole life passes you by. Yeah, it's crazy. I saw I saw um, a uh, emoji on Instagram, uh, a gif on Instagram, and it was like a guy running, and it was like a money sign, and like we're running to money, we're running to money. And we're running to money for what? For to die eventually, because it's like it has to be it has to be more about money. 
You know what I mean? You gotta right. be something that, you know, uh, pushes you outside of money to get you up in the bed every single day because money's gonna come. But what happens, you know what I mean? But I'm I'm, I'm, I'm thankful the moment so I didn't have the money. When I was right. low, when I was broke, and I didn't know what was going on. Uh, 2020, you know what I mean? Like when things, the whole world was shut down. But for me, it made me just appreciate uh, my small wins. I'm like, yo, like although I'm not where I want to be, I really, 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 really overcame. I really, really did ooh, do this. Ooh. Yeah. So I felt that. I that, would say that. that I would say that's the biggest, uh, the biggest thing. And I would say also number three, um, one thing that I, one thing that I, I'm very, 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 very big on is just um, building relationships. You know what I mean? Uh, and and the thing about relationships is always a two-way thing. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of things, a lot, I've been so blessed. Uh, when I meet people, I'm not always, my, my first thing is not, okay, what can, what, you know, what I'm trying to work with you. You know what I mean? Like, my, my thing is, let's learn about who you, who that person mm. is. You know what I mean? Let's learn about uh, things you had to overcome, your childhood, um, what made you uh, interested in what you are interested in now. How did you become the man or the woman that you are today? Mm. And that's what I mean by about building relationships, building genuine encounters with people uh, to a point where if they ever, if you ever need something, they'll do it quick. Right. Um, I'm gonna be honest. A lot of the content that I post, a lot of the gigs that I uh, that I've been able to be forwarded to go has been for free <laughs> because you build a rapport. You build a rapport with people, and it's like they want to invest in you because you know what? This time, this person took this person took 20 minutes out of my day to just call me, check up on me. You know what I mean? See how I'm doing and. You and know, that energy. People just want to be that, yeah. in the presence of this energy because you really mean well. You're yeah. authentic, and people read that you genuinely care. Yeah, genuinely building relationships. You know what I mean? Like genuine is so important. I think um, it's so many layers of being genuine, right? But you know, people right. people can really really spot a genuine person. And I tell people all the time, just just be you. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And that was, um, and that goes to my next point. You know, uh, mm -hmm. just being myself. You know what I mean? Knowing that I am valuable. So like, knowing that I am enough. Knowing that I belong here. Knowing that like, Ooh. people. You know what I mean? Like people really, right. really. I I I I, I work hard to be where I'm at today. Mm -hmm. And I did everything. Uh, being Jamal, I did everything. Being a good person, I did everything. Being organic, I did everything. Just putting the work in. And so when you just know you can be yourself and you, and people and people feel it, you know what I mean? And it's like being you gets you so in so many doors and at the end of the day, everybody's not gonna, everybody's not for you, right? And that's okay, but it's gonna be people that appreciate your energy, people that appreciate you, right? People that appreciate me. And yeah, that's important. I always say this because, you know, I could try to be someone that I think people like and if people hated me for that yeah. and it's not even me, that is so frustrating. But if I'm just me and someone says I'm too loud, I'm too th well whatever, it's me, who cares? Who and cares? it's so freeing. Yeah. And how can you be authentic if you're not even yourself? Like you know, that part, that part. Right. And, it, and, it, and it goes like and, and like it's crazy, all of these points kind of go all into oh, the one. Yeah. Because it's like being the best version of you. Mm -hmm. in every way physical mental spiritual um you have to have different things that you do every single day to uh, get you you know what i mean get you going whatever it might be um but i would say lastly uh to kind of go to the last point is just having things that you do every day that makes you fuel you know mm -hmm. for me i have to get up every single day early i read the bible every single day for at least 30 minutes a day you know what i mean awesome. yes. um and I, you know work out whatever whatever those things are um, and figuring out the things that whatever you're trying to like, if you're trying to be an actor, make sure you, you spend the time and necessary day to to uh, to put towards your instrument, to put towards your gift, to put towards things you want to do. So it's just having those rituals uh, daily um, that's going to eventually propel you forward to where you're trying, what's been trying to be. Um, and, no, and, and no matter what market, because I promise you, the biggest battle that we all face is mental. Like we we honestly like. It's not we're gonna get the opportunity. We're gonna we're gonna get whatever opportunity we're buying for, but the thing is, are we gonna be ready for when it comes? Ooh. And then mental stability is important because and that, I think that's one thing I learned this past year. Yeah. Learning how to sit and learning how to sit quiet, learning how to sit with my thoughts. And when I was when I when I was going through like when COVID had first started, you know, I was going through a tough time, I didn't know I was I'm on 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 unemployment, like not knowing kind of what things are gonna happen. I'm just like, God, I don't know, but I do know that I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be here. So, but those rituals, those get up every single morning, going to run your reading, all of those things um, allow me to protect my mental in a way where 
uh, no negativity got my mental or no disbelief or Jamal, you're not enough. And if those things, because those things are going to happen, but when you're feeding yourself, when you're charging yourself up, anytime you feel low, that, that little bit of faith, that little bit of ump that you've been putting in months of those rituals, that ump is what's going to be able to help you overcome that, 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 that dark thought, that dark feeling of, you know, rejection, that dark feeling of I'm not, I'm not enough. So those rituals honestly are so important because it helps you remember the reason why you started. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I love it because all that, you know, our, our insides, just like our outsides are a muscle and you need to go to the gym every day, like all the affirmation, yeah. all those thoughts, that's a muscle too that you need to exercise daily. Daily and day, like every single second. <laughs> wow. Any chance you can get, honestly, really. And feeling like you're progressing. Like that's what I got from your five steps too. Yeah. Like the last one, it's like you reverse engineered what you needed to do for what you want. Because yeah. a lot of people will, you know, write on their list, I want to be X, Y, Z. They put it on their list and they think that that's already manifestation and that's envisioning. Mm. But what you're saying is, okay, what am I doing today that's getting to me, to getting me to closer to my goal? Right. Every single day you're doing something so you feel like you're walking I'm moving path. forward, yeah. And not to trust the time, process. you have to trust the process, I'll tell you about the time, like you have to really, really just ask yourself, like, we wanted, but are, are you are you 100% ready? And I had to be honest on myself. I'm like, you know what, Jamal, am I ready? Am I, is my, is my heart ready? Is my heart posture ready? Um, am I able to deal with people's opinions of me? Like, am I able to deal with the outside world? Like, and so I tell people all the time, like the five ways in order to be the best version of you is like getting yourself prepared to whatever that end goal for you, um, whether that's to be an actor or whatever. Like, I'm just kind of speaking to like, you know, in my, my lane and what I'm trying to be, but I do know what comes with it. It comes with people having an opinion about your life. That right. may not necessarily be true, but if my mentally, if I mentally Ooh, don't I'm know like, who I am, you know, it's like, I will literally get the opportunity I've been praying for and just self-destruct. We see it happen often. We see wow. it happen to celebrities often. You know. Yeah, I, mean? I feel like everyone has this huge ask, but mm -hmm. you're not you're not ready for it, and the universe doesn't give it to you, and then you wonder why. I and it's so you know you say in relating in in regards to like handling celebrity and all that, but I I have you know I have people that say like I want I want my special partner, yeah. and I want this family, and I want two kids, but then when it's time to go to the gym, or they say oh I don't have. 30 minutes to go work out. But how are you gonna have a, a husband and two kids? And how you, you have 30 them? minutes for yourself? I don't I don't understand that. They're gonna take a lot more than 30 minutes. A lot more than 30 right. minutes for sure. It's just a small deposit. I have a um my friend, um my one of my good friends, they say daily deposits. It's about the daily deposits. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, it can be it don't have to be like long. It don't deposit. have to be a long it don't have to be a long thing at all. It's just the daily deposits that you need to do every single day that's going to propel you forward uh, and be able to to deal with all of the good things that come with your purpose and your calling on this earth. And so when you figure out those get those daily deposits figured out and checked off, you'll be you'll shock yourself. What are your daily deposits? Oh, well, I mean, I heard them, but let's just iterate yeah. it. Uh, I would say for me, the biggest thing, my daily deposits I'm very, very, I, I take pride of and I, I I have to take two hours out of my day, you know what I mean, to kind of block everything off. Like, oh. I don't even text anybody. Um, wow, I put my phone on the that. yeah. That's a new. I would yeah. Yeah, because I mean you you know you it's energy. You know every day is energy. You walk out and you know for me I don't want to. Whenever I walk out, I want to be the best version of Jamal. I don't want people to be like, oh Jamal, Jamal's energy was so low. Today. You know what I mean? But it, I have to charge wow. myself up. So I would say the other positive is just reading my Bible every single day, um, affirmations, reading things that's going to charge me up, taking the time out to figure out kind of what I want and the things that I need to improve on. Um, and the biggest thing that I struggled with for a long time was believing in myself and I'm being confident. And so one thing that I do every single day, I look at myself in the mirror and I really just look at myself for like maybe like 10 minutes and I don't say nothing. I just sit just with myself. Get in. Wow. Yeah. Cause I, I, I struggled with that. I, that was one thing I really, really struggled with. And people see, you know, people don't realize, um, who I am, who I am today was a product of who I used to be. The inner work. The, the inner, inner work, work. I used to be. Yeah. yeah. And so. You know, people gotta realize that, like, I just didn't always been this energy person. It took me a while to believe in myself and feel like I was enough because I was searching for so many things, mm. so many things like people, relationships, sex, like anything, anything that would. But you did everything external, but it all and it always boils down to this: it's the internal and however you are inside mm -hmm. that that is how you perceive everything. Everything your personal 
Your personality is your personal reality. It's my personal development. You know what right. I mean? It's, it's due energy. The energy I have is, is due to the personal development that I continue to work on. Because it's every day. You know what I mean? Like, some days you wake up and be like, oh, I ain't really like feeling good. But some days you wake up and be like, you know, I look good. Right. And it's just like, learning to just like, you know, when you have those off days, like, because of the personal development that you've already put in, right. those off days can't touch you. Right, <laughs> right. They can't touch you. Right, and I always like giving analogies. I always have funny analogies, I but love it's it. so funny because when it comes to like our devices, like you know that if you don't charge a phone overnight, it won't be freaking charged in the morning at all. You gotta charge it every night, and I see like basically the daily deposits. It's charging daily, daily, so you can freaking be vibrant, be vibrant, and it makes sense for the phone. But people don't do it to them. They deplete, 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 deplete. And then they don't they, they don't even charge for two nights and then they wonder why they're not on. But yeah. for the phone, they get it. You don't charge it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. But you it, know what I mean? we, we can't apply it to ourselves, but so sometimes it's good to like verbalize it yeah. out because we may know everyone knows what they need to do to get what they want, but yeah. sometimes you need to hear like the the like the instruction manual of it. It's yeah. like okay, be positive, like okay, but they How need to hear daily deposit. They need to hear unplug for two hours. Yeah, unplug. You know, like I don't, I don't like. Sometimes I get anxiety going in airplane mode for twenty seconds. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. You know what I mean? It's it's tough. But I feel like you know, if we want to be able to sustain our calling and be able Ooh. to to like right. actually enjoy it, you know what I mean? Right. Live in the moment and all of those things, those things are so important because we deal with so many people from different energies, Ooh, walks yep. of life. Yep. You know, we deal with people like people every single day. And so one thing I'm very sensitive to energy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So I have to take the time out because if not, in, like I, pe people energy would mess me up. I'm still right. working on that. So right. those two hours is for me to be able to be in a room that's negative energy and still shine. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I like how it like, cause sometimes for me, it's just like, of, okay, that doesn't make me feel good avoidance, but yeah. I like where you went with that. I'm going to build that muscle. Mm -hmm. So that, all right, come on, come on, come on by. Yeah. I will still radiate. Radiate. It's crazy. I'm going to, um. I'm in this class, not class right now, but I was in a class and uh, about about you know about a year ago, and so um, the class was very it was very good for my you know what I'm trying to do, mm -hmm. and so uh, but the class was so negative it was very um, it was a lot of different um, miscon uh, misconceptions uh, of who I am, mm -hmm. and you know people would like say certain things, and you know for a moment I didn't even uh, try to try to fit to justify it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So I would sit there for about what three hours and. Um, I would just allow people to say certain things um, about me that necessarily might not be true. Um, but because because I'm in the industry of what I'm trying to be, I realize that I'm not going to be able to, when people say certain things about me, I'm not going to be able to call, call up, why stop saying this about me? You know what I mean? So it's, like you said, building that muscle to right. be in a room where people, you may not, you may not be like, but it's okay. Right. Because you know I'm what there. What can you do? You yeah. know what I mean? How can you strengthen? How can you adapt? Strengthen, adapt, and be in rooms and situations where people may not always have the best the best of your heart, the best of their, uh, your you know, ability to be able to shine. And that's so honorable because I notice it always, some people like to blame like the external, but mm -hmm. you took it upon yourself to say, Hey, like they're going to be there and they're going to do what they need to do. Yeah. Like how do I strengthen me? Mm -hmm. A lot of people point fingers all the time, but no, the power is putting it upon yourself. Yeah. And be like, oh no, it's on me. It's and on me. Ooh. And how I, you know, I react and, you know, being able to, I, it's hard to just be in a situation where, you know, being negative energy. But for me, sometimes, you know, you have to make sure that the personal development and the goals, because they work, mm -hmm. but you got to put them to the test. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. And you know what? The people that shine the most or the people and celebrities, well, they're different. I mean, yeah. one thing, you are by definition a standout and it, there's going to be polarity. Mm -hmm. You know, there's going to be people that really, really like you and it comes with people that don't. They because don't. Because you are a defined person. And, yeah. and I like how you say that, you know? And they'll yeah. do anything to stop our shine. They'll do anything. And it's, you know, and, and it's not because they make people mentally, you know, just want Projection. To, yeah, it's, it's because it goes back to where he was past is. And what is the vision? How do they speak to themselves? Because you know a lot of the time the way people speak to you, it's how they speak to themselves. And when you could kind of like be mm -hmm. understanding mm -hmm. and compassionate, yeah. like it, it, it kind of saves your energy in the For in, sure, for sure, for wow. sure. When you understand that you know what, we all we are flawed people who made mistakes. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna respect you from you know across the street. You right. know what I mean? But I give you grace and I give right. you for you. You know Ooh. what I mean? 
and um, it, it makes you it makes you better because at the end of the day, I, it was people who did so many things to me, and it, you know, I, it made me. It, it was hard for me to get over. You know yeah. what I mean? But I'm in a place now where like you know what at the end of the day we all make mistakes. Um, I'm gonna always give people show people love, but now you're not you're not gonna have access to me. Right. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, and and our fifty percent, our fifty percent is a hundred percent of people. Oh, then you know what I mean. Right. <laughs> and I, I don't know how if you realize how, like every you want. Okay, I know for some people like it's like man, that's a huge list. Yeah. Start with watching Jamal's story on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Every day, it's a reminder. I read it. I'm like, ooh, fire, fire. Like sometimes it's the end of the day, and I'm in my Epsom bath, and I'm like, ooh. And I like I sit with what he's saying, and I sleep like, ooh, true. Or I wake up, and I'm like, oh, true. Then I go to run it, oh. and it's those little things. That, yeah. Like those are little deposits is he, that he's giving others, and he doesn't really realize it. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah thank you. Yeah. And now it's 2021. Yes. And all this you practice through 2020 yeah, yeah. so like how are we how are we approaching like things are going to are slowly opening up things are opening up and there's a lot of good things that's like coming and so one thing i'm actually working on right now is an event called uh actually in an llc business called the members of the playground only in la and so the purpose of the bit like the purpose of this uh business is pretty much a lot of times you know people come to la they want to you know be around good like-minded people mm -hmm. creatives and different people but they just don't know um how to go about doing those things and the biggest thing about those five steps that i gave you guys uh people don't realize the work that you are doing behind the scenes you sometimes you don't have to automatically go ahead and just like you know i'm doing this i'm presenting this i'm, I'm selling this you gotta we gotta work your way up right. you know what i mean you gotta kind of like it's it's a, it's like the the cake you like you like you, you getting the cake right. matter everything and now you're ready to bake it so i've been i've been in, i've been in a, i've been in a um in a, uh, you know, a mix and a cake uh, stage in my life. And I think now I'm just ready to bake it. So I'm getting ready to start throwing these events in LA, uh, different networking events. There's an opportunity to be able to network with different creatives, entrepreneurs, and just good people to bring good vibes together um, and to celebrate our success, 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 to celebrate our lives, celebrate where, where we're trying to go. And um, it's, it's just only the beginning. And I'm just super excited. And um, I would say that this is going to be awesome because it's going to allow people to kind of come together. And you have to make sure you bring your own uh make your own situation make your own figure out what you can bring to the table and that's what's going to make you stand out right people are people are like ready for touch and like ready to just connect and yeah. get out there and ready and the i'm ready the 2.0s are out there get out baby but i think and like i said it's just going to be an opportunity for people to like you know people who uh, want to get in, in the entertainment industry, wanting to do certain things, just to be like minded Anything people. creative, right? Anything yeah, anything creative. creative um, we're going to we, we partner with different restaurants, so we're going to do a, a cigar and conversation type of vibe and just kind of just vibing with men and vibing, meeting with females and just about to have an honest conversation to help us get better. Not trying to, you know what I'm saying, because we're, we're going to be, we're going to be, we're going to make it in whatever way, but just to be present in the moment and help us be better people. Ooh, I love, so if people are interested mm -hmm. in finding out about your events, where can they find you? Yeah, so follow me on Instagram at Jamal R. Averett. That is J-A-M-A-L-R-A-B-E-R-E-T-T. -T. Our first event is June 25th. It's a rooftop event, Hollywood, California. You don't want to miss it. Tickets will be dropping this weekend. Ooh. Yes. Details, tickets will be dropping this weekend, so stay tuned. We have a lot of great things planned. And my biggest thing I tell people, you know what? You can do it. You know, I'm from North Carolina, a small town. I've had dreams to be in LA and do great things. And, you know, I think the biggest thing is just actively feeling like that you are enough. And so if you're feeling like discouraged or feeling like you can't do something, and then you know, you know, honestly, it starts just start today. You know, there's no there's no shortcut or there's no um, plan that you gotta follow to make it or whatever. But the biggest thing you gotta just do is just wake up every single day and show it for you. And all of those things that I all those things that I've, I've named, it's gonna come easily. Oh my God. Yeah. Thank you so much. Anytime. Oh, elevate. Oh, oh. Elevate. <laughs> With Ava. With Ava. <laughs> so guys, if you want, uh, if you want, like, I feel like, I feel so blessed. Look, I get to be around all this good energy. Uh, me, you. I feel, <laughs> like, I, feel, I feel the same as that way, Ava. Like, you're somebody who was freaking amazing and taking um, ownership and taking charge of your own reality. And I think that's a beautiful thing. When you take ownership of like your own success and create your own and your own opportunities, you can you can never do wrong with that. So keep up the work. Ooh, I love it. I mean, <laughs> community is everything. Community is community. everything. Community. Let's community. elevate each other. And I love that. That's your movement. Yeah. So guys, if you if you want to meet the 
hard to find. Well, I don't know, like, it was hard to get. I, oh you guys need to know, this guy's in demand. That I had to run after him at Runyon. <laughs> like, literally, like, you know, basically people go, I was running after him. I was running. I said, I don't run for anyone. She don't. She don't. For him. But you know what's crazy? I had to share this with all of you. We know it's crazy. I think our relationship was just so profound. And I, I think he was there for me when, when I first moved to L.A. And trying to figure out L.A. Got my first job in L.A. because of her. And so for me, like, it's people, it's, it's those moments like that. You never, you'll make time. No Ooh. matter what. You know what Ooh. I mean? You'll never forget people who really been there for you at moments you're trying to figure stuff out. I <laughs> love it. So we just get started. <laughs> We're getting started. So stay tuned. Yeah, Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love y'all. Elevate. Woo.